guys, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Red Carpet Report, and we're in downtown LA for the 2018 Makeup Artist and Hairstylist Guild Awards. How do I even begin to say thank you for The Shape of Water? You guys, just so amazing. Obviously, um, I like your tie. Thank you. You made it yes. yourself for tonight. Yes. For tonight. <laughs> but, um, how, how does the whole process work of like, okay, so Guillermo comes to you and says, this is what I want to make. Oh, okay. Where do you draw inspiration from? Well, it's it's a it's a it's an ongoing process of, of trial and error and experimentation and doing um, uh, what we call clay maquettes or or digital art and and a fusion of ideas, uh, elimination of ideas. And when you're creating something new, it's very very difficult. When you're when you're doing a a sequel. It's fairly established, and, and you're just kind of modifying what the originals were done before. But I think when you do something, when you're trying to do something new for the first time, there's a bit more pain to the birth there. But after that, it's it's okay. Now, with the eyes, what? It, how does that work on the on the um the, the fish? How did that that work? The eyes. The eyes themselves that are they're made from acrylic. Please. It's very, it's several different sets of eyes for different parts of the movie. Some that Doug was blind in, so they, they were very deep ones, you could see right into them. Some were at a little window in there so he could walk around and not bump into objects. Then we had some sick eyes. Um, but the, the final stage was digital augmentation to make the blinks, which was our... There's not enough, it was designed that way because there's not enough space to put mechanisms. The gills, the gills on his neck were, were actually radio control on set but the but the lids had to be cgi so it's a fusion the design is a fusion of technologies and that's what makes it work how long did he have to be in the chair to he was in the chair for three hours a day to get not that bad. no we got it we got it down in fact towards the end we got it even quicker than that but but we were we were allowed three hours that was ours. To, you know we had to design a, a creature the process had to be three hours, like that was kind of the design limit of how it goes together. Because D Doug, you know, the endurance of that, the endurance on the makeup artist doing it, and then just getting him to set so they can film 10, 12, 13, 14 hours a day, you can't make a eight hour makeup or a seven hour makeup, but it's got to be, you know. That's true. Um, I always like to ask makeup artists, hairstylists, what kind of music do you like to play when that's being put on? I mean, because you're there for like three hours. You know, do you? We, we didn't play a whole lot of music. We listened to a lot of bad jokes by Shane, actually. Yeah, so those are very good jokes, actually. Shane's the king of bad jokes, and Doug gets a tickle out of those. So it's basically trying to keep Doug entertained. Because we're busy, so we, we're entertained by being busy and doing our craft. But Doug has to do that every day, every plus, day, every plus day. None of us had a stereo. Yeah. So we couldn't play any ma music, actually. Oh, well, I think the jokes are better. So, hey. You might I mean, hear them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait till you hear them. Well, someday. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Congratulations on everything. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, enough. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what is your favorite makeup tip.